YouTube's Orwellian trust and safety team is made up entirely of three kinds of people. Fascists, morons, and cowards. Although there's quite a bit of overlap. Towards the end of May, the Ministry of Trust and Safety banned me for one week for the speech crime of reporting some global statistics on the persecution of Christians. I received a strike for hate speech for violating some unwritten community guidelines, saying that speaking out on behalf of persecuted Christians is verboten. I appealed the hate speech strike, but my appeal was rejected. YouTube accidentally gave me a second chance to appeal because two separate members of the Ministry of Trust and Safety had banned my video, allowing me to submit two separate appeals. But my accidental second appeal was also rejected. A bunch of people sent messages to at Team YouTube on Twitter asking why YouTubers aren't allowed to report statistics on Christians being killed, Christians being sexually assaulted, and so on. As far as I could tell, YouTube completely ignored the complaints for a month. But this morning, I went on YouTube and I noticed that my stupidity guidelines, excuse me, community guidelines strike was gone. Then I checked and saw that the video had been restored. That video had been deemed hate speech by four separate YouTube reviewers, the two who independently blocked it as hate speech and the two who rejected my appeals. And yet, they put it back up. I can only assume that they put it back up because of the complaints they received. So, special thanks to everyone who complained. But here's what's weird. In a strange way, I actually have less respect for YouTube now that they've restored the video. Someone reviewed the video and called it hate speech. Someone else reviewed the video and called it hate speech. Then another person reviewed the video and called it hate speech. Then a fourth person reviewed the video and called it hate speech. So it's clear where YouTube's thought police stand when it comes to reporting facts about the persecution of Christians. But then they put it back up because of complaints? You're going to decide, as a group, that speech defending persecuted Christians is hate speech? But you're going to do a U-turn in the YouTube U-boat as soon as people start exposing what you're doing? What a bunch of cowards. Fascists, morons, and cowards. All of them. But now, their cowardice is being exposed. Shouldn't have shown us your true colors, YouTube. If you're going to treat people like garbage, it's a bad idea to let everyone see your weakness. But don't worry. Your secret is safe with me.